So I saw a couple of people ask for this, which was doing the patch readings of Dwarf Fortress. Now, like Sims, I have zero clue what Dwarf Fortress is about. So, so if I wheeze a lot for my reactions, I'm sorry. It's just because I have zero context to go on for this game. So here we go. 2004, one lone patch made them care about clothes more. Probably a good idea. 2005, fixed a bug where animals could rent rooms. Fixed bugs with animals picking out clothes to wear. Fixed bug with mules shitting luggage. Cleaned up the bear situation. What's the bear situation? Like, it's just... <laughs> could be so many things. Are there too many bears? Is there not enough bears? Are the bears in the hospital? What is bear situation? 2006. Added cat butchery. Ugh. Fixed problem with undead passing out from strangling. <laughs> no kidding. Made the corpses of small animals that die out of water stop teleporting. Oh, God. Made dwarves care if you melt down their masterpieces. Well, that's somebody's hard work, man. Stop soldiers from going to parties. Added mouths. Added an aperture flag that stops mouths from being gouged out. <laughs> oh, God. 2007. Stopped children from buying shops. Good call. Stopped happy thoughts from sleeping in beds in amazing dining rooms. What? Stopped happy thoughts from sleeping in beds in amazing dining rooms. Is that just like a bot-generated text? I don't get that one. Fixed bug where all the local rock turned into sky whenever migrant groups were created anywhere in the world. Good God. Made semi-mega beasts get along better with their gay friends. Something about the term semi-mega beasts. It sounds like a Pokemon knockoff. Uh, fixed a problem with blood hanging in the air. Ew. Stopped elves from being pleased with unethical trades. Well, good. No one should have to deal with unethical trades. Not even those stupid elves. 2008. Stopped children and babies from joining you on your adventures. Safe move. Allowed dwarves to get married. Finally! Equal rights for dwarves! Thank you! Made thieves and their support groups respect each other. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're gonna steal together, you might as well get along. I mean, look at Persona 5's group. Stopped booze food from melting, even though it probably should. Yeah, that sounds about right. Made dungeon masters happy with their cloaks and boots again. Oh, thank God. Because my dungeon master is such a bitch! Made all undead respectable of one another. Fixed problem with the king coming early and not actually showing up. Ooh. That sounds like a personal problem. Stop aerial births. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I'm sure it means like birds and stuff, but what? <laughs> you just look up in the sky. <laughs> There's a baby just falling on you. <laughs> oh my god, why? Okay. <clears throat> Fixed problem causing dwarves to target harmless, insane people while making evil creatures spare them and babies. Ooh, okay. Stop looping dwarves from constantly trying out gloves and boots when they should just pick one and go. Come on, man. You can't do dwarf stuff if you don't look cute. That's a golden rule right there. Don't take that away from them. 2010, alligators have hair and other intended attributes. And what's, what are other intended attributes on an alligator? I kind of want to know. Rain kills everything it lands on. Oh God, super acid rain. Dwarves given their choice of weapons will choose ones too big to use. Have you ever met a dwarf? You remember Gimli and his axe? The axe was bigger than Gimli. Humans in farming houses are naked. Oh, oh, oh no. Tiger Man does not have ears. What? Why does Tiger Man have ears? Or do you mean, did they get rid of the human ears and gave him tiger ears? Because that would make more sense. Blind cave bears have front toes on both and rear feet. Specifically, blind cave bears. They now have toes. Regular cave bears, I'm sorry, you're SOL. Magma crabs drown in magma. Why are they called magma crabs? <laughs> Why do they drown in the thing they're named after? Why? 
Dead dwarves were made in their squads. Ah, oh, that's, that's a tight-knit squad right there when you carry your dead friend around. All right, 2011, Rodent Man has no teeth. Oh, poor Rodent Man. Honeycomb's getting crusted with jewels. Ooh, that'd be awesome. Zombie hens claiming nest and laying regular eggs in quotations. Regular eggs in quotations. It's probably still a zombie egg, but marketing experts are going to label it as regular eggs. Dwarves come to hospital to rest without injuries and also endless tooth surgery. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't like tooth surgery to begin with, so imagine it being endless. That's probably my personal <laughs> Dwarves play tug-of-war with caged animals marked for slaughter. Ooh, that's sad. That's real sad. It's kind of fucked up with the dwarves, too. Serpent men can kick! Wait. 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 The serpent men have feet? And they can kick? And aren't they just dragons? Because I'm pretty sure if they're serpents, they don't have feet because they're snakes. But if they have feet, they're dragons. Somebody's going to have to explain that one to me. All primates' front and back legs with accompanying feet, no arms or hands, yet have fingers. Somewhere. It could really be anywhere, but we'll never tell. Rodent men don't use their new teeth to bite. Well, then why don't they use... Mice are known to bite. Why would you give them new teeth and have them not use it for what they normally do? This just seems prejudice. Equal rights for rodent men. Let them bite. You let the dwarves get married, now let the rodent men bite. It's only fair. It's only fair. A husband for every dwarf and a bite victim for every mouse man. Make it happen. Okay, I think I've gone absolutely insane from reading these, so I'm going to go down, like, lay down. So, bye!